With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, here our question is consider a cube a v c g h i j k okay of side a this is side a is given placed in a uniform magnetic field b acting perpendicular to the face b h b h i c as shown in figure okay here is our uh, direction magnetic field in this direction and this is perpendicular to b h i c and also perpendicular to this area vector that is k j g a okay a k j g okay now we have to find h per this question the what is the flux through phase a v c g okay first we need to understand the expression for flux basically flux equal to b dot a okay where b is the magnetic field and a is the area vector and area vector is always perpendicular to the cross-sectional area right area vector is always perpendicular to the cross-sectional area and if we consider taking this magnitude we are getting this b into a into cos theta okay this is the cos theta this is theta is the angle between magnetic field and area vector right so first one is saying here that we have to find the flux related to the surface area a v c g okay which surface area is a v c g this is the surface area ABCG and area vector is just coming out of this plane and this is towards our face direction right so area vector is basically in this direction that is perpendicular to the magnetic field vector magnetic field vector is in this direction so both of them are in a perpendicular that is theta between this area vector and magnetic field vector is 90 degree okay so we can conclude from here that this uh, if I put here the value of theta 90 degree so you can get easily that phi is 0 because cos 90 is 0 cos 90 is 0 that's why it led us to phi equal to 0 and for this surface area that is a v c g okay phi equal to 0 right now for the next one that is given g c i j okay let us me first figure out which is the surface area that is uh, G C I J. This is the topmost surface area. So, uh, for this surface, the area vector is upward to this plane, right? Upward to this plane, and magnetic field direction in a in this direction. Okay. So these are also making an angle of 30, 90 degree. Similarly, for this this case, okay, this phi will also be zero. Okay. Now now next is saying of the area of the flux that is through phase a k j g a k j g okay this is this is a this is k this is uh, j and this is g okay for this area vector for this phase a k j g is just outward of this flux and it is in negative direction or that the, we can say this two are in anti-parallel direction okay the figure is like here that is this is the direction of magnetic field and this is the direction of that area vector okay so these are angle between these two are 180 degree and uh, if we are going to find the flux between uh, this then we can say that phi equal to b magnetic field into area is a square because height of this uh, cube is given a this is area a square into cos 180 that is minus 1 we can consider it uh, along this negative of i axis okay so this magnitude did if, if we are going to only consider the magnitude magnitude is coming that is b into s square right now for this one uh, flux through b h i c okay b h i c for this b h i c we can easily see that uh, both the uh, magnetic field direction and area vector direction is same okay this is the magnetic field direction and area vector direction this is same so these are back in an angle of 0 degree and we know that cos 0 equal to 1 so from here if we put this value our phi is coming like v into a square in this positive i cap direction right so here if you consider only the magnitude so we are getting that this phi equal to similar to a k j g and its magnitude is v into a square right we almost find all this thing uh, from this which fetches the flux will be how much thank you
for class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.